Grant here with 4MathTeachers.com. Thank you so much for joining us on today's video on subtracting integers. I want to tell you that if you haven't watched the adding integers song yet, if you haven't watched that video, go over and watch that one first. This video won't be much help to you unless you've listened to the adding integers song and have taught your class that song. Um, that song is a very simple song to the row, row, row your boat tune. Again, we've not come up with any of these songs ourselves. Um, we've just benefited from them. We want to get them into your hands that they might be a blessing to your classroom. That being said, again, you cannot teach this song until you've taught the adding integer song. So we'll include that link in the notes below the video. Take a look at that. Enjoy subtracting integers and teaching them to your class. The subtraction song! Okay. Doubles into a positive. Minus into a plus negative. Sing the adding song and you're almost done. Subtraction is so much fun. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Thanks for watching that video. I wanted to show you how we use that song in actual um, teaching after we would learn the song. So after we learn the song, then I talk to the kids about how we apply the song. And we talk about how the song first says, doubles into a positive. And so you can talk about how they bridge together and form a positive. Two negatives form to make a positive. And normally a lot of times kids enjoy being able to put a line through and cross it like that. However, to further that idea, you could take your two fingers and say, everybody get your fingers out, get your fingers out. And they get them out and they say, Okay, move them together. These are the two negatives. And you need how many negatives to make one positive? Well, you need them both. And so get them to see these two negatives make one positive and there are no negatives left over. That's huge because what we see a lot, at least what I see a lot in my classes, is we have a negative and a negative. And let's say it was um, three minus negative four, right? And someone says, okay, that's three plus negative four. And I just remind them, wait a minute, put your negatives back up. How many negatives needed to make a positive? They say two. Well, you use both of them up, so there cannot be another left over. So it would just be three plus four. That's where we start. So this, the song says, doubles into a positive, doubles into a positive. That's what we mean, doubles into a positive. Now, after that, the song says, minus into a plus negative. So that means minus, let's say it was like this, minus uh, three, three minus five. Now some people might not need this second part of the song. Three minus five, they might say, oh, okay, I know it's negative two. Some kids might be helped by the second part of the song. And that second part says, change the minus sign into a plus sign and then a negative number. So it doubles into a positive minus into a plus negative. And now, because it's a plus sign, we can sing the song that they've already learned, the adding song. Sing the adding song and you're almost done. Subtraction is so much fun, woo! So now we can sing the adding song. Same signs add and keep, different signs subtract. Wait a minute, are these the same signs or are these different signs? Well, this is the positive, this is a negative. These are different signs, so we subtract. What's five minus three? It's two. Take the sign of the higher number. Oh, the higher number is five. Is five or three bigger? If they were going to battle and you had three positives on one side and five negatives on the other, who would win? Probably the negatives because they got more people. That's what we mean. Take the sign of the higher number. That'll be exact. That's what we mean by um, minus into a plus negative. Or, or this problem, of, of course, negative two minus seven. We would say that minus turns into a plus negative. So we write negative two plus negative seven. Then we sing the adding song, because you're almost done. Subtraction is so much fun. Same signs, add and keep, and you're done. Those are just ways that we've used in class, those two songs, to help get kids in the mindset of how to add and subtract integers. I hope you enjoy this. Um, if you need resources, there are resources to kind of help kids think through this. 
on our website. Um, if you actually look in the note section of the adding song and the subtracting song, you will see uh, practice worksheets available for a very minimal price, and you can use those in your classroom. Um, it breaks down each song, and so that you have problems for each part of the song, and then you have a kind of a mixed bag of review questions at the very, very bottom of that worksheet to kind of put the song together. Anyway, enjoy those. Check those, uh, check those resources out if you'd like, and um, enjoy the adding and subtracting song.